Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and our Minecraft Monday series and welcome to Tutorial Land. Yeah, we've got a nice super flat world here. If you could quickly drop us a like, it'd be much appreciated. And of course if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So today, Minecraft Monday, what are we doing? Yeah, we're looking at the ultimate spawner. So for you guys that uh, play on survival mode and you're looking for a way of gaining some extra stuff this will be ideal for you now what are you going to need for this build you're going to need some blocks of your choice we're using stone and moss stone you need quite a bit of your stone or whatever block you're using you're going to need at least four hoppers. Um, the more you can do, the better. You're going to need a couple of chests to store everything in. You're going to need some water for a bit later on. You're going to need some glass. Again, this is optional. You're going to need some lighting. So we're using the torches. And the other thing that we've completely forgot if you want to add this in and I can find it is some obsidian and of course we're going to need to ignite it as well so we'll add those in so that is everything that we need for this ultimate spawner so let's start off we need the chests and the hoppers and of course we also need the block of your choice now you need to build this obviously near your base if that's where you're building but we need to build as high as we possibly can so what we're going to do is place our collection area first we're going to get the hoppers and we're going to feed them into the chest like so now as I said the more hoppers you use the better we are going to be using quite a few for this but you can get away with just four hoppers in the center like so but we are going to be using a few more. Um, I'm just trying to think how we are doing it now. We are obviously doing this on creative mode, but you guys can do this how you like. You can do it on creative, you can do it on survival, it all depends on what resources you get. So, just to check that that's working, we're going to throw, if we can do that again. We're going to throw the hopper in and we're going to throw the chest in out of the way. And that should appear in there. Excellent. So that is our grinder part, if you like, where everything is going to die. We then need, or we don't actually need, but this is where it becomes optional. You want the glass. Now, what I like to do is just close this in. So, and then what we're going to do is build up as high as we can, so depending on uh, how much uh, glass and materials you can spare to do this, we're going to build up. You need at least 25 blocks, at least 25. So. This would be your ground level here, and then we're going to go up. So that is one there. And then we can go up 25. But if you can go more, I would recommend it. So if we do this nice and quickly, we 
again you can do this on survival if you are of course got all your materials ready then put the game onto peaceful mode and you'll be able to work all the way through until it's completed if of course you want to carry on working with all the mobs around then bearing in mind you can have a lot of uh, mobs appearing so all you really need is the four blocks in the center we've added extra again all of this is is just in case stuff falls aside the reason we use glass for our tower is purely so that we can see what's going on you don't need this glass putting in you can leave it completely open we can crack on with the main build like so now obviously you uh, if you're going to keep going up and down then you need a way of getting up and down so I would recommend ladders and then what we're going to do is run a ring of stone blocks or the block of your choice around the edge and as I said what we need is a gap of four in the center so that is where everything is going to fall down this is why you only need the four hoppers at the bottom but I like to just in case stuff bounces off you can uh, still collect everything without the hassle so nice and simply from the center we're gonna go eight blocks out so that's two three four five six seven eight we're gonna go one more and cap the end off like so and then whoop, and then our eight blocks Okay, and you're going to do that on all four sides. So it's two, three, go on, there we go, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number nine, and we're capping it off. You're going to do that on all four sides. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Nine, cap it off. Like so. And then same again. Four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and cap it off. If you don't get this part right, then it will not work at all. So hopefully you have got something looking like this. Okay, so next up we need to build a wall. So we're gonna add the one of that in there and then four blocks. One, two, three, four. So the total of five blocks we're adding. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we need to do that all the way around. Two, three, four, five. One, 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 two. 
three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so hopefully we've got something looking very much like that. So next up we need to just join these corners up like so. And then also we need to fill these in as well. Okay, and again you need to do that on all four sides. Like so, and then we can just fill in the gap. Whoops. Okay, so again, like I say, we need to do that on all four sides. So we'll quickly do that with you. If, of course, you are falling behind, you're more than welcome to pause the video and gather your resources and come back. Like I say, you are going to need a fair bit of stone. Or cobblestone or whatever block you are you prefer that you prefer to use so of course this is our Minecraft Monday series what we normally do is a seed showcase but we thought we'd show you something different today so there we go hopefully you have got that now and then if you haven't already done so, you need your water. Grab the blocks of our choice. We'll grab everything that we need. This is what I'm saying. You need to, a way of getting up and down, so bear that in mind. Now, to save yourself a bit of time if you're in survival, you're going to need to create a water source. In fact, we won't do the water source just yet. Or in fact, we will for you. Okay, so if you're in survival, you need to create a water source and save yourselves going back up and down. You create yourself a square, so four two by two square. You put two buckets of water in, one in there and one in there. And you notice that it stops flowing. That means it's infinite water now. So now, yeah, as long as you just take the water out from one of the corners obviously you've only got four corners you can have unlimited water now, we're on creative so we don't need to do that but for you guys on survival that is what you do and to test that you've done this correctly if you put a water source both there and there it should run eight blocks and stop at the edge if it flows down there then you've not got eight blocks long. Same with this side, I'm going to put, if it wants to go in there, there we go, two bucks of water, flows to the edge and we should be right. Okay, same with that one, same with that, it should run to the edge like so, and then we're going to put one in the four corners there, there, there and there and everything should flow to the center if it's not flowing or it's falling down the hole then something is wrong with the pattern so if you want to just pause the video you can see what's happening okay so now we've done that what you should also see is dripping coming from the underneath because this is containing water. Okay so next up we need to build some edges so from this edge we're going to get the block of our choice and we're going to build out so that the corners join up. Try not to go over the edge. Okay 
we're going to do that again on all four sides. Like so. So what we're creating here is our first set of uh, spawning pads. That the idea is that they will spawn, your mobs will spawn up here. There we go. So that's how it looks. The mobs spawn up here, they walk to the edge, fall into the water, and because the current is pulling them to the edge, they can't fight it and they fall down and then die. Okay, so again, using the next block of choice, I'm using uh, moss cobblestone. Again, it's a preference when it comes to the mob spawner. Again, you can use normal cobblestone, you don't have to change the block of choice. And all we're going to do is just fill in all of these gaps. Quarters, we are going to just fill in the gaps. Like so. corners. Again if you're struggling for resources then you need to keep going up and down. And the reason we build this up so high, one is so that when they drop there is a big enough drop that they fall and die and the second reason is that we need to be away from any other kind of caves or dark areas where mobs can spawn so hopefully now you've got something looking very similar to this okay so next up what we need to do we're going to grab our obsidian if you want some pigmen to spawn what I find is if we use this point here and just join those together like so so you're going to do that again that on all four sides this will mean that we get our pigment spawning if the pigment drop then they're going to drop uh, some gold for us so we're going to put four of those in Hopefully you've now got something looking very similar to this. Now obviously if, if, again if you're building this in survival with all the mobs it's highly recommended that you don't light these up until you're nearly finished. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so next up we're going to get our normal plane block of choice. And we're going to build all the way around the edge. 
So we need to make this as dark as possible inside. Until we're as high as, oops, put them in the wrong place now. Until we're as high as the portholes. Obviously, like we say, this is much easier in creative, but it is completely doable in survival, as we have one in our own survival world. in all the blocks round. Try not to miss any. So we're using uh, stone and moss stone for ours, but again you can use whatever material you like. Remember though it does have to be considered a solid block a transparent block as mobs cannot spawn on the transparent blocks. So there we go. So now that we've done that section, hopefully you've got something that's looking very similar to this. Now Highly recommended. I believe we can do this here. We're going to just put in some corner pads. And this will make things a bit darker up here. So you're going to do that again in all four corners. using the moss cobblestone for this as one we think it looks better and two I think the mob spawn quicker on these again that's just maybe a personal preference there we go that is all four done so, the idea is the pigmen spawn, they're going to fall straight into the water from the edge and get carried in. Mobs are going to spawn, fall and get carried in. Okay, so once we've got something looking very similar to this, what we need to do is create a roof for it. So we're going to run a ring of stone around the edge. Whole 
rid of uh, levels is what we're going to be doing. So this is, like I say, chamber number one. This is where all the main spawning is going to be done, the pigmen, etc, the zombies, the creepers. And because it's tall enough you'll also get uh, endermen spawning in there. However, they will disappear as soon as they touch the water, so you don't get the endermen dropping. Once we've uh, filled all that in, So we're uh, just going to drop down in there for a second. We're going to seal it up and hopefully you should have something looking like this. Now there is quite light in there because of the uh, portals. But you've still got some very dark corners where normal mobs are going to spawn, etc. Okay, so that's chamber number one done. So what we're going to do now is we're going uh, straight up so that we're on the roof. And hopefully we are in the actual center. So we're going to take out those four blocks. Now what we're going to do is what we did on the first level we created the water source is exactly what we're going to do again so one two three four so that is the first one so there should be a wall just there okay we're going to do the same again one two three four okay i've just done too many that's the four and that's number five. There we go. Okay. Just make sure I've done that correctly. One, two, three, four. The wall starts there, that's right. Same again. One, two, three, four. Maybe like a horseshoe section. Like so. And then one, two, three, four. Another horseshoe section. Okay, same as previous, we're going to put some blocks in to join. So it's three that way and three that way. Three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So again, we should be having something looking very similar to that. Again, if you're not sure, place your water blocks to test it out, and again, it should run to the edge. If, of course, like I said, it flows over that edge, then you've done something wrong and you need to get it fixed. So, again, that is the water pattern. So again we need to just create a wall around the edge. Like so, and then of course we need to fill in with the blocks of our choice. Remember it needs to be a block that the mobs can actually spawn on, so no transparent blocks can go up here.
and of course we're going to fill all the quarters in again like so Similar to this now. Again, the higher up that you can go, uh, the better. And there we go. So, again, hopefully, you got something looking like this. Next, we are going to yeah, place a row of blocks round as this is going to be the outer wall keep placing your blocks and we're going to go round again So you can do this in cobblestone so we'll need to do a fair bit of mining so once that's done that's our two block high we're going to go uh, these mobs height if you like we're going to go around one more time to create a roof done that we can get the block of our choice and we can create some diagonal pads like so again this will create a real dark area for the mobs to spawn Assuming uh, you don't want to go any higher than this, because this can go as many levels as you like. What we're going to do is place a block there, one, two blocks up, and then on that third one, so we're gonna delete those. We're going to just create an additional platform in the centre. Remember, if you're going higher, this can only be on the last level up. So if you do build higher, take this one out. And then build it on the very last platform at the top. Okay, so now we just need to place another row of blocks. Ok, 
Okay, so that's two. We need one more row. You can already see how dark it is inside there. done that we can actually put a full roof piece on now if you was doing this in survival you are doing it with stone just think of all the experience points that you're going to get for cooking all this all the cobblestone it will soon add up like I say you do need a very good large amount of stone or cobblestone or whichever block of choice you are using this pretty early on in your survival world again you will get uh, various different mobs you get witches spawning you will get creepers spiders your pigmen in the bottom section Okay, so hopefully you have got something looking very similar to that. It should look like a big giant cube. Again, the higher you can go to start with, the better. And you can do as many layers up as you like. We, uh, before we do that, once your course finished, Okay. what you want to do is just bung a whole load of torches up on the very top level this will stop any mobs spawning up here okay doesn't matter where you place them as long as you get a whole load of torches up here okay next up we're going to go inside and have a look we're just gonna blank that out and as you see it has gone extremely dark in here loads of mobs will spawn up here they will fall into the water or walk into the water and as you can see they're getting pulled by the current and then they will fall to their death at the bottom again in this section here men will fall into the water etc and fall to their death as well so there we go and once they obviously fall down here they will die and like I said the glass is purely to contain everything as you can see it is pretty dark down here as well so it is again recommended that you light this area up stop anything from spawning down here Okay, and once you have completed, you should start seeing the mobs falling down and dying. So everything can now go back away that we don't need. We 
we've just collected it all again. So let's get rid of all of that. No. And you should start seeing the mob spawning. Mm. got mobs spawning everywhere around they should be spawning oh there we go so already we've got a good amount of mobs spawning and the goodies are already falling into the chest So we are just going to sit here for a short time and just watch. Of course we have still got mobs spawning around which are obviously not going to hurt us in creative. But yeah we're going to put this on to a quick time lapse I think and see how many we get in the space of say five minutes so we'll have a quick look that's what we've got so far we're going to watch five minutes of time lapse and see what happens we'll see you in a Okay, welcome back. You'll uh, notice that we've had quite a few drops there, both in the nighttime and the daytime. There is still, of course, plenty of like the spiders around, plenty of slimes, etc., around. And there goes some more. So let's have a quick look in the what just over five minutes that we left this running and as you can see we've gained an awful lot of uh, rotten flesh, bones, arrows, gunpowder, string, spider's eyes, we've had a few witches drops, we've got some glowstone and sugar and there's another creeper that's just come down so of course once they all die Everything is filtered through and in, into this chest, so we haven't got to worry about killing anything. And we can just pretty much leave that to run. There goes another one. And another one. And another one. Now, just go on in and have a look. Here the witches, there goes some more. And um, so we've got plenty going down. Witches going down, creepers, etc. So as we come up into the first level, we see a quite a spawn in here. Uh, down there, the little baby ones to even go and work up. just yet. But they do spawn after 
can assure you. If they haven't spawned uh, straight away, go to the uh, nether, hit a couple and run back through and all of a sudden you'll see them all piling through. There go a few more. So let's go on up a level. So as we said, we've got this extra pad in the middle, this makes it even darker up here. Once they start wandering around, they knock each other into the water. And off they go. We can uh, just come up and give a couple of them a push. Look. Go on, in we go. And there we go, he's off, look. So they try and jump to get out and they can't. And they end up falling in. The witch in the corner. Go on, in you go. Give the spider a little push. That's him. They can't fight the uh, water, so what happens is once they fall in, they'll just follow this down. And they literally just fall down and die at the bottom. So nice and quick and simple. Plenty of lops. Hello, horsey. Oh, there goes a the witch. Again, they're dropping it. See, look, they're even dropping the redstone for us. So, if you're doing this quite early on, it saves you even mining. Gives you a chance to get some redstone in. So, hopefully, you have enjoyed this video. I realise it's been quite a long video, but if you could, drop us a big like, it would be much appreciated, absolutely smash that like button please for the time it took to build this and the effort we've gone to show you uh, of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course if you are uh, sharing with your friends and families etc it would be much appreciated also so yeah hopefully you have enjoyed today, it's Minecraft Monday please smash that like button and we shall see you next Monday. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.